Um, other sort of challenges and interesting times, of course, I started just before the 2019 election and Correct. I finished after 2023. So I've seen some progress, a few setbacks. But overall, what I would say, and this is one of my key sort of highlights from my time in Nigeria, Nigeria is the biggest, most important democracy in Africa. And for all its flaws and challenges, you are on that journey. And you're, you should never take that for granted because you're in a region where democracy is backsliding and indeed globally. But Nigeria sends a bit of a beacon of hope. And I know a lot of people are disappointed with the process and with the outcome. But I would say hang on to that important fundamental that people um, in Nigeria, your vote does count. Look at the different electoral map. It looks completely different than it did in 2019. Democracy is a journey, it's not an event. But, um, we're watching closely, along with other members of the international community, and those who incite violence, or indeed act violently, um, could be subject to a visa ban to our country, or we have other instruments, including our human rights legislation. So um, I can confirm we're gathering information at the moment. We obviously don't speak about individuals, um, and we will consider whether we want to exercise those, those visa bans. So and that is one of the tools. That's, a, if you like, a negative tool. But the whole point of that is deterrence, to ensure that people reflect before they act in, in that way. Because elections going well are so important for Nigeria. What didn't work well, and it was a big disappointment to all of us, and most importantly to Nigerians, was what, Niger what INEC had raised expectations, that as the results were being uh, tabled at the local polling unit, they would be automatically visible to all of us, actually, to be able to track the results in real time, so transparently. Um, clearly, the system failed, and there's, there's no question. That was a massive disappointment. It also meant that it created space for people to con con be concerned that somebody's interfering with the system, somebody's hacked into the system. And I think one of the problems was that INEC um, didn't communicate quickly enough what the challenges were. And we spoke to the INEC chair about this, and he's, he accepted that point that you know they should have been able to communicate soon. Um, but it was a failure, and I think it's been a big setback to INEC's credibility, frankly, and therefore people's confidence in the election. Mm -hmm.